ladies and gentlemen, Walt Disney. <laughs> the other night I was fortunate enough to attend a lecture on the subject of man's hunting instinct. The lecturer was uh, Professor Ludwig von Drake. The professor had such a dynamic personality, such an unusual viewpoint on this subject, that we invited him over here to repeat his lecture for a color of cameras. We fixed the place up to give the professor a suitable uh, atmosphere and uh, setting, for after all, the subject is man's hunting instinct. Good, good, send him in, send him in. Now, before he gets here, let me give you a few quick facts on him. The professor is a brilliant scientist, a world traveler and psychologist. Degrees from Oxford, Cambridge, Heidelberg. And oh, I forgot to mention, he is actually Donald Duck's uncle. Now you see the Drakes are the paternal side of the family, the continental branch. They're the eggheads of the clan. The professor being Don's father's brother is a Drake, of course. But the best thing about the professor is that unlike Donald, you can understand him. Come in, professor, come in. Good evening, everybody. I am here. The lecture's going to start. I'm Professor Ludwig von Brink. That's who I am. How do you do, Professor? I'm... Well, don't, this... don't tell me. I'm going to tell you. That's Mr. Dilly, isn't that you? Willie? Lily? Fisby? Disney. D-I-S-N-E-Y. <laughs> oh, Disney. Of course I knew it all the time. I never forget a face. You're the fellow who works for my nephew, Donald Duck. Isn't that right? Yes, I guess you could put it that way. All right, we're ready for the lecture. Now, where's the audience? That must be the audience. Right out over there. They're very nice. <laughs> Boot. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Go sit in the audience with the rest. Excuse me, Professor. The audience is over here. All right, now we have that plenty elbow room. We set the stage, as they say. I put the projector over here. And we put the, the screen is going to be over there. And we put the spotlight it's on me, because I'm the lecturer. <laughs> May I help you, Professor? You're sure you're going to help me? You're going to sit down and be quiet. That's how you're going to help me. <laughs> All this interruption. All right, now we begin. of my lecture is man's hunting instinct. <laughs> Will you please sit down in front, I said. Will you? You over there, that fat one. Oh, that's me. I'm gaining a little weight out over there. Gonna have to go on a diet, I think. <laughs> anyway, back to work. Man's hunting instinct. Do you know that? Man spends 99% of his time hunting. You're surprised, didn't you? You're hunting for a wife? You're in trouble. You're hunting for work when you're trying to say something or every once in a while you, you're, you're looking for something, you look for an idea. You're hunting. You are a hunter. Where are my glasses? That's... <laughs> now I'm a hunter because I'm looking for my glass. I can't find like some hunter. I can't... Oh, here we are. All right. Right here, all the scientists are hunting. Biologists, archaeologists, and antinomomonimists. Emptymologist. What does that mean? He's a bug hunter. Bugs is my favorite people. I like bugs better than I like people sometimes. Matter of fact, I brought just for this occasion I have here Herman. Good morning, Herman. Herman, open your little sleepy eyes. Isn't he cute? Herman travels with me all over. Herman goes with me. Isn't that right, Herman? Now, back to the lecture. I cannot impress upon you how important it is to realize that bugs is people. Because they're small, they still have a heart, they have a soul, they have feelings, they laugh, they cry, they get excited. We've got to feel something for We... Uh, Herman? Herman? You did... Listen, you... Oh, you had a close one there. Oh, he's nice. Yeah, well, now, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, back to the picture. All right. Now look up here, everybody, everybody. I want you to pay close attention because I'm going to ask questions later. We're going to try to figure out what I said. <laughs> All right. Now, this is the happy hunting ground of a boodle beetle. Just like my Herman, you know. 
The boodle beetles, you know, are almost extinct because they're so crazy about hunting for adventure. You know, when a bug does this, why, he's committing insecticide, you could say. <laughs> and so young Master Boodle here crosses his bridge to hunt new worlds of adventure. A regular Columbus, no less. And right away, he is up to his nose in... in... Boodle, <laughs> scene always gives me hay fever. You want to see a tree's eye view of a bug? There you have it. Keep an eye on what's coming now. How would you feel if a bunch of wooden heads were suddenly tossing bombs on you, huh? All right. Now, you people out there might ask, what's all this got to do with the hunting instinct? And that's a good question. I wish I had a good answer. Well, and so I'm going to show you now yet another kind of hunting instinct. The hunter for rare foods. Now, you call him a gourmet. That's what you call him. I call him a food. Everybody stay where you are. Don't budge. Wait, wait, don't switch to another channel. Wait a second. No, it was only the film got busted up a little bit. Herman, fix the film. Hurry up. Okay, Herman. Thank you, Herman boy. Now I want you to be on the lookout for another hunter, our sponsor. He hunts during commercials for customers. <laughs> You're it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Back to business. The hunting instinct, that is the subject of the program. Now, there are people, you know, who hunt with a camera. And, oh, they're the nicest kind of hunters, because they don't hunt to hurt anybody. Oh, no, they're real nice. You have the cameras nowadays so easy, a child can operate them. And you try to get... Is that child in the audience that... Uh, <laughs> well, no, I got it. It's all right. Thank you very much, Sonny. All right. Now, the most important thing, you got to find a subject that you're going to shoot. With your camera, of course. So what do we do? We'll be real quiet. We're going to sneak up on something and we're going to shoot him with the camera. And we're going to sneak in now. We're going to get a close-up. That's in real close. And we're going to aim and... <laughs> All right, now let's see what we got here. Hmm? What's this? My audience, they fast asleep. Hey, you out there, audience, wake up! When I'm giving a lecture, nobody sleeps. All right. There, that's better. <laughs> All these interruptions. Oh, man, you two sleeping, wake up. You got to project with a projector. All right, now, where was we? All right, we're going to watch my nephew, Donald, and he's going to show us how shutterbugs hunt. And oh, I shudder to think of what's going to happen now. <laughs> a bird! Gun, power gun, shut up again. I did it! I got blood! <laughs> So now you see what hunting with a camera is like. You see, besides developing pictures, you can also develop a temper. A real temperature. <laughs> really is nice. It's lots of fun and everything. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. My next chapter on the hunting instinct is man hunting. You know what a man hunter is, of course. Everybody knows that. It's a woman. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. Did I confuse you? I don't even know what I said myself. Man hunters hunt criminals. It's crooks. Bad guys. They're always hunting varmints who is going dead away, partner. Nobody's ever going this away. Why? How come is that? Everybody's going dead away. Never figured that out. Well, anyway, now I'm going to show you a real man hunter. In fact, a couple of real nutty bounty hunters is what they are, only they don't know it yet. <laughs> Why, it's Black Bee, Captain Freema. What do you make of it, sir? Well, Corporal, it looks mighty like the work of the Lord Chipmunk. Hey! Oh! One, hundred and two, hundred and three, hundred... Is the commercial over yet? Oh, oh, it is! Oh! <laughs> Well, 104, I gotta remember that. I never got that high before with it. <clears throat> All right, but now we're gonna take up another kind of hunter. 
the inventor. You know, I have my own radio program for inventors. You should listen to it. In fact, whether you like it or not, you're going to listen to it right now anyway, so you may as well like it. <laughs> and now, the Plastic Hour, with your happy hunter, Professor Ludwig von Drake, who will help you to hunt ways to occupy your mind. Good morning, amateur inventors. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Professor. Now, as I promised you last week, this morning we are going to bake an airplane out of junk. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. All right. Everybody got their junk ready? Yes, sir. All right, then let's get started with our plane. Now, be sure to have a good hot fire under the pot for cooking the plastic. And don't taste it. Remember, that's plastic. <laughs> Did your plane fall apart? You know, that's funny. <laughs> you know, it always happens that way to me, too. Well, wasn't that fun? <laughs> Nothing like using your ingenuity to hunt for excitement. So tune in again next week, and I'm going to have a new recipe for you. New ideas to hunt for fun and profit. And money. And speaking of fun and profit, that's what our sponsor is going to do right now. You know what that is? That's, that's, I think they call it a flugelhorn. Now this place, real flugel music. We have moogle flugel, 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 noodle doodle, chicken noodle. No, no, not that. Flugel music. But what's that difference? You ain't gonna say it, you're gonna blow into it and make music. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. But really, what it is, it's a hunting horn. It's used uh, for hunting. <laughs> it, oh, man! You gotta project with a projector. All right, and that brings us back to the subject, the hunting instinct. It's like for fox hunting, the real high-class type hunting. But the main thing is you gotta be in high society to hunt a fox. You have to have pedigree dogs. You have to have pedigree horses. Uh-oh. And of course, you gotta be pedigree people. Everything is pedigree. Except the fox. Nobody's petting him at all. He's just a bum. They're chasing him all over the place. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. Three hard Mary, oh, a hunting we will then. <laughs> Some hunter. <laughs> now we're gonna come to the real hunting like old grandpappy used to do. Now you know in those days they didn't have no frozen TV dinner. In those days you had a hunt or you went hungry. <laughs> For you, huh, Donald? No, sir, not for me. Uh -uh. Aha! Hunting season opens tomorrow. Hunting season? Yahoo! Way! <laughs> Come on, Sonny, let's get going. Time's a wasting. Grab your shooting iron, son. We're going hunting. And now we are going to see how the spirit of our forefathers, or five fathers, I don't keep score of this, awakens in us the instinct to hunt wild game. Hunt is over. Wearily the men come marching home. Proud, undaunted, but not without casualties. Not without suffering. Hey, wait up! Wait for Pappy! And not without game. Meet on the table! The hunting instinct has been fulfilled in man. And so that's the hunting instinct in a nutshell. And uh, this is pretty nutty. 
But no matter how strong your hunting instinct is, remember one thing the professor tells you, you got to be careful. Don't ever let that thing go to your head. Don't lose your mind about this because you're going to get a lot of trouble, you see. You get excited, the next thing you know that the gun might be... Loaded. That's what I said. <laughs> Ooh.